Bafana Bafana is playing in a few days and there is one KZ Chiefs player who is on that squad. And that's only because Temba Zwane of Mamelodi Sundowns got injured and Pule Modi had to go and replace him. But if it wasn't for that, then there would be zero. Nobody from KZ Chiefs in the Bafana Bafana squad. And this has caused commotion between Hugo Bruce and Mlifin Segi. And in any case, the KZ Chiefs fan base and... Hugo Bruce. What is the drama though? Let's look at it and break it down. Blah, blah, blah. Hello and welcome to Kosi Nation Fan TV. I am Pilo. I am your host and this this is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. I'm a Kosi football club. Right. Le Fensegi, apparently, like most of the KZ Chiefs fan base, are not taking kindly to the fact that um, Hugo Bruce said there are no KZ Chiefs players who deserve to be in the Bafana Bafana squad because the team has not been playing well. Now, I don't know whether the part of the team has not been playing well is the part that offends Umlifin Segi or is it the part where it says Bafana Bafana or is it the part where it says KZ Chiefs players don't deserve to be in the squad? I don't know because everybody knows that KZ Chiefs has not been playing well. Unless you are deluded. We are going to talk about that later on in the video because some people are taking... In fact, let's talk about it now and then break down the drama a bit later. Because some people watch the game at Chipper United and they say Chiefs played well. But did they really play well? Because look at Kaiser Chiefs from last season. Look at Kaiser Chiefs from this season. Kaiser Chiefs from last season, left back, where Vuhlanti, center back, pairing Ungezana and Dutove and right back with Frosla. Frostler massively out of uh, out of form. Left back Utlanti also not make sure we saw against Sundowns, even last season against the Pirates, considering the same goal. And in a lot of matches, just not competing aerially, although he has the height. You go to our center back pairing. Utova is a makeshift center back. Age Kogui height. We are go right center back. You have Ukwinika who was out and then Ungezana was also making mistakes beginning of the season and only rediscovered his form later on in the season. This season, however, we have two center backs, one in given him Simango, who's been really good for ETS Galaxy over the past few years, and he comes to Chiefs, he adds that solidity. On the left, you have Utitloko, who's also been solid, Super Sport United. So already defensively, you have a solid pairing. So by default, that makes the team better. We go to our midfield. Our midfield last season, we were have we were playing Umtutuzi Shabalala, U Yusuf Mat, no September Steb. September Steb is dropped into the bench. We have brought U Castillo. Massive improvement because U Castillo is obviously better than all the players that we have in our midfield. This is not just on Usteb, but it's better than all the players that we actually have in that midfield. And we have also signed him to Tuzim Tanzane. I said this about him. I'm not saying ah oh, he's bad because of his performances. I didn't see the point of signing him Tanzane in the first place. But still, he's there. He has come into midfield and he's just there. And then in our forwards, we have Upule Modi on the left. An improvement on Usekota. You have Upotane on the right. Another improvement on who was playing on the right. Okay, maybe Utoli because well he's out injured so kind of a replacement for him and through the middle we have to pray was performing in any case so you look at that squad player for player and you compare it to the team that played in the previous season and then you see Guti. this squad is actually better so the team is better than what it was last season so by default you are expecting this team to play better than the team that was playing last season but are we playing better? No, we are not. Are we creating as much ch as many chances as we were creating last season? No, we are not. Are we missing as many chances that we were missing last season? Uh, dude, for you to miss chances, you have to create chances. So since we are not creating chances by default, you are not going to be missing any chances. So you see the problem that I'm coming with here. Ugut, as much as the team has improved in terms of quality-wise, but in terms of what we are producing up front, it's not been great. And people are going to look at the game Yamazulu and look at the game Yestel and Bosch and say, but we want 3-0, we want 2-0. We were playing against teams that were better than 
teams that we shouldn't even be thinking about, hey, we might lose. We're better than Silent Bosch. We're better than EE Amazul. We are better than TS Galaxy, but we still lost against them. Why? Because there is no clear playing structure. All we do is sit back, defend, and try to hit teams on the counter. That is why when people say Zwan is still coaching Chiefs, I'm like, no. How can it be Zwan who is still coaching Chiefs? Because clearly, U Zwan is better than Bili, but he is still making move. A lot of mistakes were made under other Zwan at the back, but forward mistakes were made because the quality was not there. Now the quality is there. Now Zwan is not coaching. Now we're going back to a person who's more defensive. As such, the team, as much as it looks like it should be great and players should be getting called to Bafana Bafana, it's not happening. And I'll go through the players that I know a lot of often based things. They should be in Bafana Bafana and say why they shouldn't be in Bafana Bafana. But before I do that, please do make sure to like the video and also to subscribe to the channel so that I can reach more people like you okay let's start with Brendan Peterson some people are saying how oh, Brendan Peterson is better than Ukipo Pirates I haven't seen Ukipo Pirates of him but, but this is what I will say I think Ukipo Peterson has been very solid for each chiefs but the problem is that people are still looking including Upros probably looking at him and the fact that beginning of the season he made those crucial mistakes against Sundowns they cost us the game both of them it was an offside in the other one but still it was a mistake and there are some of these mistakes that he makes that obviously in the last two games has shown what has improved on so based on those things you might see why he is not selected which quickly puts us to giving him simango because he's the next player that people are going to talk about remember what what Tim Suga has said about who giving him simango now he's going to case the chiefs and he's going to be selected and Nami, as a coach, I know, Guti, it doesn't make sense, right, Guti? You are not going to say the first time or the first window or the first international break that Umsimang was playing for Chiefs, he's in the squad. And yet his performance has not really surpassed what he was doing at TS Galaxy. So he was not being called while playing for TS Galaxy with the performance that he's having at Chiefs. And now... By just changing the team, all of a sudden, he deserves a national team call-up. You get what I'm saying, Guti? He was not being called up in any case. And that is something that we must address with Upros. Uguti, why was he not being called up at Chess Galax? Because it's not like he came, Gamsimang has improved five times since he's gotten to Chiefs. It's not improved by 11. He's just still the very good, very good, don't get me wrong, a very good defense, a defender, a very solid defender who should have been called to the national team since his days at Chess Galax. But if he wasn't seen as a player deserving of a call-up while he was at Chess Galax, does that mean now just being just because he's a case the Chiefs player that automatically means he should be called up to Ibafana Bafan? So Bruce is sticking to his players. Some coaches just have their players and people will not agree with them, but sometimes they have their players. Like Abu and Umdanje Waku Kochi and he has decided to go to those are my centre back pairings and I'm gonna stick with them. If I bring on Umsimango, then that means one of these players that I already know who already understand my system will have to make way for this defender. So as such, I'm gonna stick with my with my thingy. I'm not saying Umsimango is bad because I know good some of you are now listening with your emotions and not necessarily with your ears and trying to analyze what I'm saying because you are extremely defensive when it comes to this. Does it hurt me good? There is no case that Chiefs play in the nation in the national team? Of course. Of course it does. We go to right back. Frostler has been solid, but once again, even even the coach himself, Loa Gansik, has not played him at right back. Well, he did play him at right back the first two games, he, uh, three games, and then he moved him to left back against Stellan Bosch, and then he benched him against the Sundowns. So if when you are benching that player, how are they, you then saying they must come to the national team? I know, I know there are players who are sitting on the bench, like Abu Opa at Sundowns, but he's still getting a call-up. Why is that? It's what I just said about Umsimang. The coach already has players that he understands. There are players that he's building with and he already understands and they already understand his system going to the Afcon and he's already building with those players. So it's understandable. And Vele Gindabayake no more Puguti, he chooses Umopi and whatnot. That's a topic for another day. He knows why he trusts Umopi over all the other players. Which brings us to 
Usland, I don't know why Usland was even called. So she and Jela I don't even wanna go deep and talk about why Usland should be in 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 Bafana Bafana. I really don't get it. Which takes us to midfield. Midfield, you can't say Umat deserves to be in Bafana Bafana because he's massively underused, and the things that he's able to do, the Ru Bruce was calling him for Gui Bafana Bafana when he was still at Sekukune. He's no longer doing. He's playing a completely different position. And even the fan base AK's achieves have been saying he's the weakest link at, at in that midfield, which I don't believe and disagree with. But I think he's also massively being underutilized at case achieves or used wrongly. There's something in my ear. I don't know what that is. Anyways, which brings us to our forwards. Our forwards with Dupri and U Umoti. So Umoti, Guayen Umoti, I still don't get why he's called up. If there was any player to be called up in that front line, I would have gone for Tupri. And I'll tell you why. Because for me, ne, with, with, with Umod, Umod has had a good performance in Tanzania when we were playing against Young. He did. He really had a good performance. But since the Chiefs started playing, not really. He did score goals. But performance consistently, you didn't see him what he can do. Also, he was disturbed by the fact that his mom passed away, so he missed one match day and he came back. And once again, I will say this, it's because the system is so defensive, so our offensive players never really get to show themselves how good they are. And because they don't show how good they are, then how are we, how, are, how is Uprus going to see what Yazumod is actually good in taking on players? You will not see that. Why? Because he gets the ball, he's isolated, but he's isolated against three people and now he has to try and dribble past those people. They win the ball back and the Buang are two more demanding come. Can't you even when to pre gets the ball, even when Upotsana gets the ball, they are always isolated and against three players of the opposition and then they end up losing the ball. So their performances have been subdued because of the fact that we are so defensive and when we do get the ball, we are trying to hit teams on counters. But teams are expecting us to try and hit them on a counter. So they set up to stop our counters. When it did score in Cape Town, for example, and against Amazulu, those were good goals. But those were moments. So you have 19 minutes where we cheaper, 19 minutes where St. Downsy, 19 minutes where Cape Town City, 19 minutes where Tess Galaxy, 19 minutes where we... Amazulu, 90 minutes to still and push, or 90 minutes about six, and Umodi has ama moments out of five in those 90 minutes, and then you are judging him, Ugutige, he's now deserving of being in the national team. It's not the player's fault, again, Ugutu Modi is not showing consistently because those moments show us Uguti he's capable of doing these things, but the system is not showing or making him consistently show up Uguti is a good player. System is sometimes, as much as Utemba Zwane is a good player, but the system is sometimes also shows us or allows us to see Uguti Utemba Zwane is a good player. You go to a pirate, Abu Maswangai, you see Uguti, okay, the system is clearly showing Uguti this is a good player, and Guayana is also delivering based on that. So, Opule Modi, they are performing and they are showing Uguti they are capable, but in moments, and they are kind of restricted, and because of that, they end up not being called up to national team. But I guess Uki Uki Bruce took what he has once again, that thing, a continuity. Yoguti, when he was still at Arrows, he was calling him to the national team. So by default, he's there in the players that he has to look at first before expanding to an, to other players. So when he looks at Pule Mode, he's like, yeah, I know he was good at Arrows, and now I can see Guti, he still has those moments where he shows what he was doing at Arrows consistently. As such, I should call him up. As for Dupri, we know this. Ugutu Pro said this last season. Called up Dupri and he wasn't impressed. And he didn't say it was Dupri. He said there are players that are not going to be called up to national team while I'm still coach. I'm paraphrasing, but it was something along those lines. So there is that thing, Ugutu. He probably saw good last season. Dupri was not the kind of player that he wants. And it's because of that, he's not going to call him up. And look at the front line. Again, look at the players that are there in Bafana Bafan. You have Lyle Foster playing for Burnley and he's scoring gui, 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 gui Premier League and he's playing well. You're not going to stand here and tell me Guti Utupri, as good as he is, you're not going to stand here and tell me that Dupri is now worthy 
of dethroning Ulail Foster from being called up to national team. You look at Upesitao. Upesitao, same thing we achieved in Egypt. He's performing. Oh, we have Omitlal Mayambela, who Bruce has been calling up consistently. So you see, Velguti, it's not new players that the coach has called up. That's why Omaswang are not there. It's the players that he already understands and is trying to continue building up so that by the time we go to the AFCON, it's not new players getting instructions, but it's players that he's been building up with for two years and not to pre because they were given an opportunity and unfortunately they didn't do well. They kind of got rejected like that. And maybe, just maybe, if he continues performing well, we have seen this with Percy Tao getting dropped and then coming back to Bafana Bafana. We have seen this with Utemba Zwane not being called up but eventually getting called up. It does happen to Bruce might change his mind. But me, I'm going to say, do not be bullied, Bruce. Just stick with your team. You know what you're doing because you will choose the people that KZ Chiefs f players fans want and then the national team doesn't do well and then people are gonna say ah vela badlalbe chiefs why are you calling up so many kaiser chiefs players who are then going to make bafana bafana play bad and on the bright side kaiser chiefs gets to keep all their players and in the next what two weeks between now and d16 game here or am now you can try to use those players and it would have been better even if umodi didn't go because we would have gotten more time to have the squad play together and not have a missing piece. But now, Bakono, Chesondo, Gonzalez, everyone is going to be together and we can build. And by the time we come back, hopefully the team is much better than what we were. But what do you think of this? This is just my opinion. Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoy.